All right, we're here. Well, where is here? Uh, we are in Midgar. This is the Final Fantasy VII DLC that's free for Power Wash Simulator. And I can't wait to like see this stuff in a different form. Yeah. So I think the job that we're doing first is the motorcycle. Okay. Uh, there it is. Cool. So, like, I didn't play this game. Oh, wait, you this is... Final Fantasy VII? Oh, this is seven. For some reason, I thought we were this was 15, but Midgar is seven. You're right. So this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, Cloud's uh, motorcycle. This is great. Look at the Shinra Electric Power Company. Yeah, wasn't that the story? Uh, was that, like, the Shinra Corporation was stealing, like, life from the Earth? Yep. It's only 34% clean! What?! Unless it's 34% of this entire garage. I'll look around. Um, everything else in here looks clean, except... Well, this car... Okay, this thing might be... Yeah, this car over here is dirty, too. The hauler. Okay. But, like, these other cars are clean. So they've got time to continue to make DLC. But they need to make VR! Yeah, that we would be really cool. We talked about this last time. Such a good game for VR. Especially now that I have PSVR, too. Right. We gotta eventually come up with a reason to co-op that. Let me look at my tablet here and see if... if there's anything we're missing on this bike. Okay. Uh, let's take a look here. No. I think we've got... the whole bike looks appears to be clean now. Let's move on to the... Do the left side of this truck. Okay, I'll do the other. I really want to play the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I just haven't had time to do it, and it makes me mad, because I think that game would be awesome. Yeah. It's been up really cool. PS5, and The thing is, I don't remember a whole lot about the game, because I played it so long ago. Yeah, I mean, how long ago was that game? Wow. I mean, that's PlayStation 1, so I don't know. 1996? 98? What was the PlayStation? 94, maybe? Man, no. I'm trying to think. It wasn't... It wouldn't have been that early, would it? 94. That's like Super Nintendo time. I think it'd be late 90s. Okay, so like 98? Yeah. 97, 98? And if that's the case, then the game would be like 25 years old. <laughs> Which means we are old. Oh, yeah. But I thought, I think, I'm happy with our age because we get to experience video games from the beginning. Um, so let's see. Some of the things we need that we're close on are like brake lights, bumper, bumper guard, cab panels, cab windows, things like that. Got it. Check the bumpers here. For 99, so we must be real close now. Whoa, you're doing like the super stream. There okay. we go. Now we're at, we have one door handle and one cab panel. Check your door handle. I thought I did mine, but I'll double check it again. Oh, this, I think I've got it. There. Nice. Sweet. Job one complete. All righty. We're in the Shinra vehicle showroom. <laughs> This is cool. Oh, here's our fast... Uh, I'm seeing the time-lapse now. Oh, cool. Yeah, it took us significantly longer on that truck, which is surprising to me, because I thought that wouldn't take as long. Right, because it's got a lot more flat edges than the bike. Right. Ooh! N next up, we're doing the Scorpion Sentinel. Ooh, cool! Here we go. That's Whoa. so cool! Oh, now this is going to have heavy rust. We're going to have to, like, wash this hard. Oh, yeah, I can see it right here. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's not, it's coming off pretty easy. Yeah, now remember, you've got all the different nozzles for, like, focus or wide spray. Yeah. You can buy, like, metal cleaner or plastic cleaner. 
Yeah, I haven't really been using the cleaner. I know that, like, on some things, it helps. Alright, do you sleep division of labor, left side, right side? Yeah, I think so. But now, okay, oh, look at this. We've got, uh, stairs over here. Oh, cool. I don't know if we can move these. Last time we could move the stairs around. I'm just going to go up and see if I can get up I, on I guess this. I can't when you're on it. Interesting. Right, go ahead and try now. Can you move it? Okay, good. Yeah, we're going to need those for sure. Well, then why don't we do it this way? Why don't you go high and I go low? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Oh, weird. It's animated up here. Really? Yeah, the like tip of the tail and the eyeball is moving around. Have you ever cleaned anything that moves? That sounds new. No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, there was the Mars rover, but I don't remember it moving. Oh, so we were started talking about um, that you've got the PSVR 2, and we were looking forward to a, a co-op game that we can do with that. And, yeah, and well, like, one thing we could look for, and I need to look into this, is there may be a game that, like, supports both flat and VR that we could play together. Yes, that's true. Are there any asymmetric PSVR 2? Yeah, I mean, other than the only one that jumps to mind for me would be like Gran Turismo, but there could be others. I'll have to look into it. It's pretty early right now. There aren't that many PSVR 2 games yet. So, and that's why, if anybody's curious, that's why I haven't jumped in yet. There hasn't been like a si system seller for me on that. I know that Chris has been really into the Horizon uh, yeah. platform what made sense for you to dive in. As soon as they announce a Spider-Man or a... I don't know. I don't know what else could be, but I, no. I just haven't had a, a game yet that jumps out, and with the price, I want to I want to justify it. I'm kind of lucky, too, because I never played Resident Evil Village, so I'll get to experience that in VR for the first time. That is cool. I need to finish that game in vanilla. Flat mode. Okay, I think I'm finally about done with one leg. So you have... You've played Horizon, you've played No Man's Sky. Yep. And what else have you played? Um, I played a, a demo for a new game that's coming out uh, called Humanity that's made by the same people who made uh, Res and Tetris Effect. Oh, okay. Uh, it's kind of like Lemmings. If you know, you know, if you've ever played Lemmings... Uh, just kind some... of guide the guide the people to the thing. Yeah, and you kind of like the only difference being is that like you don't really have like a limited number of humans. There's just like waves of them, and you just set up a, a path for them. It's pretty. It was fun. Path you win. Yeah, it's like a puzzle because you oh, have to like. Uh, another thing is you have to like in some levels you have to hit switches to open paths, but you have to keep that switch pressed while you're doing it so it's it's pretty tricky um i am like i said i'm looking to get resident evil village and then i think i may also pull the trigger on that uh star wars tales from galaxy's edge what's your favorite vr game of all time well, give me a minute to think about that that's tough mine's easy what is it? My Phalanx. Oh, yeah. But some of those shorter VR experiences we had were very fun as well. Yeah. Well, and Arkham VR is one of my favorite, and that's a very short experience. Yeah. But it's great. Speaking of Arkham, man, am I bummed out about just Suicide Squad. That yeah. Yeah feel was so disappointing. Yeah, it feels kind of generic. It just, like, like they, either they didn't learn from the Avengers game, or they're too far in to correct it now. I mean, it's all about loot boxes and battle passes and game loops and... Yeah. Did you watch that thing? Do like, uh -huh. explaining all the gameplay elements? Yeah. Yeah. It's just... It's just not exciting. And Rocksteady was one of those companies that before this, I'd be like, well, they get a pass. Of course, they're going to make it right. Like Naughty Dog and some others where you're like, of course, that's good. But then seeing it, I'm like, what? That doesn't seem like the same company. Yeah. 
the um yeah i don't know we'll see I, I i'm not excited about it i don't think i was really all that excited about it before to be honest like i, I was, was just, just because i think they were so good at translating a, a silly concept of a guy that dresses like a bat into a really good kind of creepy game. Yeah. I don't know. I also, I was, who was, I can't remember if I was talking to you about it or one of my brothers, but like, I'm kind of burned out on the whole Suicide Squad shtick. Well, that was my thing. It's like, I, I honestly just never really cared about them. Yeah. And so like the movies, like I think one of the movies I like and the rest of the other ones, I was just like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more excited to play Spider-Man versus the Kingpin on my Sega CD right now. <laughs> Which you just got today. Just picked up today at a used game and toy shop in town, and it is, it's a beautiful copy. This disc is in great shape, manual's in great shape. Yeah. Of all, yeah, of all things retro, you have to have that. Right. It's a Spider-Man right. game. I'd be funny. I'd be uh, wondering too if anybody like watching. Like, what do you guys think about us playing retro games? I think we got some comments where people thought it was pretty cool. I agree. Yeah, I'd like to hear what what people have to say because I we're we're gonna play them. It's just whether we're gonna record them for the show. I guess. Yeah. Because we just want to like mess around with them anyway. Yeah. This is a game where the game audio is just going to be kind of low in the background because it's just <laughs> noise. You don't want to hear. Exactly. The game doesn't have any ambient music, does it? I don't think so. I would assume that people who play this game probably just put their own music on. Yeah, well, I would. We could always pull the audio down and play some Final Fantasy music. <laughs> yeah. One Wing Angel. <laughs> <laughs> That seems probably too epic for Power <laughs> Watch. And we just need some incidental walking around the overworld music. What if after this it is like you just have to watch Sephiroth? <laughs> Sephiroth is dirty. That was always funny to me. I mean, it was so cool, but at the same time so stupid that like some of the moves in that game at the end of that game were like planets exploding. Oh, yeah. those uh, Toward the end, those summons are bananas. Yeah, they're just like ridiculous. Like... You would do multiple times, like Mars would just blow up. You know, <laughs> what was that big one called? Knights of the Round. Knights of the Round was one, yeah. Well, yeah, you want to swap for a little while just for variety? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go up up top and work on that stuff up there. I'll work down here. I think yeah, that wheels. Nook and cranny work. Oh yeah, there's front eyeballs moving too. Ray's arm? Look at this! I can move it! What? Oh my gosh, we're 99% done with this thing and... We just now determined that you can move stuff on this. That's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was this. But it's not that one. Well, I'll try high. Yeah, try try this part right here. It's got to be the very back of it. It's the rear part. <laughs> I'm watching you do this. Come on, you can do it. Hey! Got it. <laughs> that thing is clean. Let's, let's see a time it. lapse. Oh yeah, let's see it. Wee! Oh, you know it doesn't show us moving the scaffolding though. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the very end, like the arms will go up. I bet because we like finally figured out you could do that yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> cool this is a really neat add-on i hope they do more of these crossovers yeah i wonder what else they could do <sighs> so many possibilities yeah i guess things with big like robot-y models would probably make the most sense like gundam or something oh yeah that would be Sorry. sweet oh yeah star wars yeah like like let's clean <laughs> clean a star destroyer clean a star destroyer <laughs> take for a week <laughs> I'd like to clean Optimus. Yes. Oh my god, that'd be perfect. And then he'd like talk to you from time to time and be like, <laughs> Thank it, my elbow. <laughs> to find out how to support the show, visit thecoopmode.com.